we're going to be walking through how you can use Flask API and Postman to do some pretty cool de debugging, and we'll jump into it. So what I have here is a little repo that I'll provide a link to on GitHub where you guys can clone this, um, and I'm just going to walk through what it's doing. It's a super basic uh, API endpoint where we're basically just going to be posting a name and an age for creating a new user on our little demo app. And so I'm just importing the bare minimum Flask packages uh, to do this, as well as the daytime module, just so I can remember what the current timestamp is when I'm issuing a response to some caller. So um, you guys can watch other videos on this stuff, but this is what's working right now. I'm um, just declaring a, a Flask app. I'm using the uh, rec parse package of Flask in order to basically validate uh, the types of API, API calls that we get. Um, and we're also defining a new class to define what is our API itself and you know what parameters will go into this specific endpoint. And uh, I'm declaring this response uh, variable right here and returning it back to the user once they've done that. So um, that is how it works. And then basically the route to this API for my little Flask app is gonna be slash API slash new user. And um, this is just the code that actually runs it. So I'm going to now run this API and um, it's telling me that it's running right now inside of my little PyCharm IDE. So if I were to go to Chrome and go to my local host, uh, right now it's telling me that nothing's there, but that's because um, I need to go to that specific endpoint. So localhost forward slash API forward slash new user. And you see that now we're getting a response, but it's saying that you know it's not allowing us to send get requests to this because it's expecting a post request. So this is part where Postman comes into this picture because Postman is how we can actually construct little payloads to send to our little Flask app now in order to test it. So I've already installed Postman. Um, you guys can read through those instructions on your own time. Um, but basically you just hit this little plus icon right here. And um, we're going to say that we want to do a post action. So these are all HTTP verbs. And then I'm going to go back to here. I'm just going to copy this whole thing, paste that guy in. Make sure you have that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Otherwise, this won't work. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're saying we're going to post something and we've defined the specific URL that we want to post to. But what we need to do is go to body and then go to uh, raw and tell it that we're going to be passing in some JSON. And so in my case, um, as we'll recall, uh, and, th and this is something we'll go into your documentation, of course, but you know, for this little demo, um, I'm basically passing in, um, I'm sending a request with this specific JSON payload. And so like, you know, we're gonna have a name and name will be something like Vincent, and then we'll have something like age, and you know, we'll pass in something like uh, 26. And so now uh, if we look here, there's that little send button. You can also hit command enter on the keyboard and I'm gonna make that full screen. Um, it basically comes back and it gives us the response that we're expecting as well as that little created on uh, thing in our response that uh, we defined in the code uh, right here on line 30. So um, that is pretty cool. And in terms of how you actually can go about uh, debugging this inside of your Flask app, like if you know you want to put a little breakpoint right there, uh, what I would do is I would stop this and then I would hit this debug button. And now you can see that um, you know, things are gonna come in and then once it gets to that line 27, it's gonna stop. So I go back to Postman and you know now I can try something else. Uh, let's create like a, another person, John, age 27 and hit command and enter. And you can see now, as soon as that posted, PyCharm stopped it right there. Uh, so it's a pretty cool way of debugging this stuff and developing it uh, while you're doing those processes. So pretty cool. Um, and another thing you can test here is you can do, you can see how air handling works with, you know, the, the Flask rec parse package. Um, so, you know, in my case, uh, it is supposed to return, you know, that little help string. So if, um, you know, if someone passes in a, uh, you know, a, a weird data type for what we're expecting for age. Uh, we can make sure that our, our app actually does this pretty quickly in Postman. So, you know, if instead of passing in 27, um, I'm going to cancel this request real quick. Instead of passing in 27, I, t I you know, I, I pass in something like, you know, uh, banana, and then we send this. You can see that our little Flask app that we're running locally on this Mac uh, or PC uh, is returning us this message saying that you know that failed because of 
the age not being the correct uh, data type for us. So that is how quick and easy it is to get started uh, debugging your Flask APIs with Postman. Hope this is helpful stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys next time.